Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It took a while to do another video after I talked about the changes I want to make in my bullet journal flip through video. But here I am with my very first sketch with me video and I'm very glad you're still here too. I have to admit that going in without a plan was really really scary and I was literally shaking when I turned on the camera in front of a blank spread in my sketchbook. The only idea I had was to draw some birds, which I don't do very often, but practicing stuff I'm not particularly good at is what sketchbooks are for, right? When I filmed bullet journaling videos or even illustrations, everything was already sketched out beforehand. So I didn't have to make any bigger decisions anymore and I kind of got used to that kind of process. So a new thing I have to learn is to overcome the fear of filming more spontaneously and I'm trying to tell myself that I have nothing to lose that even if a spread doesn't turn out the way I want it, I don't have to show it at all. And I think a lot of you know that feeling too, no matter if you're a content creator or not. I already read a few comments on my sketchbook tours that said something like I'm afraid of using a sketchbook because I don't want to mess it up or I can't stick to a sketchbook because when I don't like a spread I stop using it and I know feelings like those can be really hard to overcome. Let me know if you can relate. The sketches I'm doing in this video I don't really love any of them in particular, I don't hate them either, but I don't want perfectionism to hold me back and I need something to start with. I want to share my art journey and not just the highlights, if that makes sense. In the end, every sketch I make will help me improve in some way and I really want to get into that mindset that bad art doesn't get me frustrated anymore and is necessary for improvement. I went in using colored pencils to block out the shapes very roughly and used brush pens and paint pens for the outlines. Especially for the flamingos, I love the pop of color the pink paint pen creates. You'll see that in a moment. And I'm not very skilled with colored pencils yet, but I do love the texture. So most of my coloring process is just scribbling wildly to fill larger areas. Somehow I felt the urge to hurry up and fill the spread as fast as possible, which is probably another effect of filming because I always worry about the battery and storage and stuff like that. You probably can't tell by the video since I edited it to a much shorter length, but filling the entire spread only took me about an hour maybe a little bit more than an hour. And it usually takes me a lot longer to fill a spread. Most of the times there are long breaks between the sketches too, because I have to come up with another idea or have to find a new reference, which is usually one of the hardest parts of sketching for me. 
There are just too many options of things you can draw, so I find it really hard to make those decisions all the time. Do you suffer from that kind of decision paralysis too? How do you decide what to draw next? I like it when my sketchbook spreads are as full as possible for a more complete look. So I like adding blocks of color to the background and little doodles to the empty corners of the page. I went for a dark blue because I love the contrast it creates and I did some very messy floral doodles as well. If you follow my channel for a while, you may know that I find it very hard to draw flowers, but they just make every spread a lot prettier. On the opposite page I wanted to draw at least one more flamingo because the first one turned out so big and I really wanted to draw the legs too. I don't really know why but flamingos are also kind of fun to draw. Maybe I also wanted to use the pink uh, paint pen a little bit more. Now that I'm editing it, I think it would have been cool to use the dark blue for the tips of their beaks and their eyes too, but it is what it is now. Thank you. 
the last bird I went for this blue one. I don't know what they are called and I didn't even look it up to be honest, but I picked a blue one to make this spread look kinda cohesive. This guy was probably the hardest one to draw though. Oh, and by the way, I'm sorry for the weird lighting situation and the random shakiness of the camera. In our new place, I don't have a better filming setup and location yet, but we're working on it. a yellow background and red floral doodles to this page to repeat some of the colors I used for the first birdie. And more pink of course. In the end I always like to add a date somewhere and sometimes I also glue some stuff in or add some washi tapes but this time I just added more little doodles. it for my first sketchbook session video. It means the world to me that you stay till the end. If you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Also let me know what you'd like to see me draw next to help me decide. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.